Hi, this is BJ Gio. I'm in 7CS and I'm here to do an unboxing for the Precise RF HG3 QRO Stepper Tuned Magnetic Loop Antenna. Uh, I saw this advertised in our QST magazine a few months ago and uh, put an order in during Black Friday when they were having a big sale. Uh, I also ordered the optional um, VH226E rotor. Uh, that was an uh, uh, extra cost there. So when it shipped to me, it came in three different packages here. Uh, I was a little disappointed to see that the rotor was actually an RCA. It didn't mention RCA uh, for the model number there, and it didn't occur to me that that was the exact same rotor that I had bought from Amazon just a couple years back for less than half the cost. So uh, that's like a uh, close to 100% markup he has on this um, uh, on, on this uh, RCA rotator so I'm not going to open this up because it's a pretty common thing I thought this was going to be some custom-made rotator that he had but um, that the company had but no it wasn't so that was a bit of a disappointment kind of right off the bat when the package arrived uh, but let's go ahead and open the other two packages so one is a big tube here so let's see if we can figure out how to pop this thing open here I think this is supposed to be some kind of mast, but okay. Okay, yeah, some kind of uh some... not quite sure what this okay. This is get a close picture of it there. Go ahead and just put that back up. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Nope, that's it in this in this tube here. So we'll put that away. Okay, then we'll go to the the big box. Let's see the best way to open this. Okay. foam padding, got a copy of the invoice, here's a 15 day product return policy, uh, but if you send it back there's a 25% restocking fee, we have a copy of the user manual, oh it's actually pretty nice, it's in color, let's see if we can get this up. Got some kind of like power cable here, 12 volt cable probably. See a little BNC to BNC cable. Let's see, looks like a pretty long 50 foot DB9 cable, so old style like serial cable. 50 foot. Looks like we got a copper ring here with a BNC connector on one side. See, you've got some very rigid LMR 600 times microwave system cable. Uh, let's see, it looks like uh, not in connector, but it's HF, so that's fine. Got some kind of little box here. This looks like the MagLoop controller. Some buttons on the front, a little LED display, some buttons, a couple of uh, looks like network ports, USB ports on the back. I'm sorry, not USB, um, ether, Ethernet cable on the back, or no rotator and tuner. Okay, USB key, 
in and out antenna. This is very lightweight. It's it's plastic. It's not metal, so it's um, a little bit of a disappointment too. I figured it was going to be metal or something a little stronger than that. Oh, here's two. I guess two little mounting bracket pieces. Let's put this back for now. And I think this is the part that makes it so expensive. This actually the stepper control. So we've got a antenna or a RF input on that side, on that side. Oh, actually, there's one on the bottom too. Along with some uh, it's like serial port and eight pin port. Oh, BNC connector on the back side too. Um, there's actually a little plate on the front that's got I guess some kind of serial number and also my call sign. Uh, so I guess if I ever end up selling this to somebody else, they'll have it marked with my call sign on it. Let's pop open the box. Okay, yeah, this is what supposedly makes this thing so expensive. Hopefully this box is enough to uh, kind of keep it from getting wet on the inside. I've heard that uh, this thing is protected somewhat, but I think there had been some concern it could get wet on the inside. There is a little gasket on the inside, but of the door. Well, I'll uh, I'll hold that up a little closer to the door. And that's basically what's in the box. Okay, and that is the unbox. Oh, well, let's see, a few other things. Uh, let's see. So, um, I read on the manual online the, um, the duty cycle for this. If it's a direct connect uh, from your amplifier to the, to the device, uh, you can only do 800 watts, 100% SSB, 50% CW, 30% digital. If you have a one-to-one -one ballon, you can then use the full QRO 1500 watts. Uh, but I don't see a ball in, in here anywhere unless I'm missing it. So that's probably something you'll have to buy separately to actually use it to its full potential unless I'm misunderstanding it. Uh, if you have the one-to-one -one ball in and you want to do QRO, the duty cycles are 75% SSB, 25% CW, and 15% digital. Anyway, this is N7CS. That's all for the unboxing. Thank you very much for watching.